A red alert tonight about red tide creeping into Pinellas County. The algae is blooming along certain beaches, according to Florida Fish and Wildlife. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christy McClarty is live on Indian Shores, and you spotted it there, huh? Unfortunately, we did. And when your toes hit the sand, the first thing that you notice is the smell in the air. Something's a little off. As you work your way down to the water, your throat gets a little tickle. You might even start to cough. And once you hit the water, well, that's when you notice the dead fish. It was a half a mile, and I counted three dozen. In addition to being an eyesore, Nancy and Ken Dickerson say red tide can be uncomfortable. Because it's like a little bit of a respiratory distress. You just you just so. feel somehow it's like a little tickle. Samples recently taken by Florida Fish and Wildlife indicate the red tide algae bloom is at a moderate level on Indian Shores, Reddington, and Pasigrill beaches. It does smell a little fishy. I guess obviously as a fish, you know, the dead fish start cooking up in the sun. FWC says while it's safe to swim, common issues include skin irritations and burning eyes. On shore, Aaron Riesbeck stumbled upon another issue. I stepped on a dead catfish and one of the fins just went into my foot. According to FWC, for humans, unless you have severe respiratory issues, red tide is mostly just annoying. But for animals like fish and manatees, it can be a death sentence. We could very easily be at the, you know, the very early stages of a, of a severe event. Marine experts with Clearwater Marine Aquarium say it's too soon to know this year's impact. A couple years ago, it was devastating, not only to the wildlife, um, but also the local economy um, as it really dried up tourism. So we certainly hope that's not going to be the case this time. The Dickersons are hopeful. We just hope that it clears up. Now, according to FWC, three of the big factors that will determine if the algae bloom continues includes the amount of sunlight, where the wind is blowing, and the biology of the water. Eight on your side will stay on the story. Reporting live on Indian Shores Beach, Christine McClarty, eight on your side.